concrete black robe regiment guy. I mean, he's a preacher. He's now involved in politics. He's led all this stuff. He has that mentality of take the Bible and apply it to every aspect of the culture. But it's a real honor to be able to introduce Mike Huckabee. Come on, Gov. <laughs> Thanks, brother. And you got a tie on, brother. <laughs> I know, it's scary. Thank you very much, David. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I realize that you stood up because you needed the exercise. I understand that. It's okay. I want to say thanks to David Barton. I uh, am only disappointed that I have to follow him. It is not an enviable position on the program to follow David Barton because I don't know anyone in America who is a more effective communicator. And I just wish that every single young person in America would be able to be under his tutelage and understand something about who we really are as a nation. Uh, I, I almost wish that there would be like a simultaneous telecast and all Americans would be forced, forced at gunpoint no less, <laughs> to listen to every David Barton message and I think our country would be better for it. I wish it happened. I want to also express my deep appreciation, and I'm sure you feel it as well. Uh, these events don't just happen. They happen because of the vision of a gentleman that I have known for getting close to 20 years. And it's a person who has helped to organize the restoration events like this across America. His name is David Lane, and the reason that you probably don't even know who he is in this room is because unlike so many people who would organize something like this, uh, most people would make sure that they were front and center and you saw them a whole lot. You'll be hard pressed to identify him during this uh, event because he takes a very low key role. It is never about him. It is about the message and it is about bringing pastors together to inspire, to inform, to encourage and empower so they go back to their pulpits and light them on fire with the enthusiasm to make America once again the greatest country on earth under God. But I want to say that you would not be here tonight if it weren't for David who goes diligently to make sure that there's funding to provide for your room and the meals and the program and all of the things that you enjoy. And then he enlists some great people like Wayne Hamilton and many others who are just incredible servants, true servants. And I hope that you, if you get a chance to pat them on the back or give them a deep bow from the waist or a tip of the hat, it would certainly be appropriate to say thank you to these who have made uh, this extraordinary two days possible. But David Lane, I don't even know if you're in the room. There you are back there in the back. Thank you, my dear friend and brother, for the efforts. As David Barton was talking, I realized we really don't know a whole lot about our heritage. I mean, it's pretty scary. Most kids today, they grow up, they go to school, they get just a tiny little bit of American history. We, we all know the horror stories of American history textbooks.